Dolls are great companions for tea parties, sleepovers, adventures, and more. But for many people, they're also creepy toys that watch you sleep and popular vessels for demonic possession. Basically, they're homicidal effigies made of stuffing or porcelain. Unsurprisingly, from Talky Tina of the Twilight Zone fame to Fats from Magic, and the Clown from Poltergeist to Chucky and Child's Play and Annabelle in the Conjuring universe, dolls have long been go-to monsters in paranormal pop culture. In today's video let's have a look at Top 10 Real Haunted Dolls. At Number 10. Harold. The initial story behind the badly worn doll is that he belonged to the young son of a Florida man who had passed away in the 1940s. When the son died, the man and his wife reported hearing crying and singing from the boy's bedroom. A priest advised him to burn the doll, but it wouldn't burn so the man kept it in his shed for about 60 years allegedly. And then the original eBay seller put Haunted Harold up for sale, after blaming the doll for his cat dying and losing his girlfriend to the pool man two days after buying it off the man. At number 9. Letta. The story of Letta is one of those that, if only portions of it are true, it's damn creepy. Owner Kerry Walton said he discovered the doll in the 1970s under the floorboards of an abandoned house he was scavenging in Wagga Wagga, New South Wales, Australia. Wooden and with glass eyes, the doll was put in his trunk. Walton then proceeded to drive home, until, that is, he heard movement and a howl of Letta meow. Hence the name Letta was born. At number 8. Peggy. As far as haunted dolls go, Peggy looks fairly mundane with blue eyes and blonde bob. But she might make you sick. Something of an internet sensation, Peggy was owned by British investigator Jane Harris of Haunted Dolls, and has been reported to cause nausea, dizziness, headaches, and perhaps even heart attacks in those that simply see her photo. Those that encounter her in person might even go mad. At number 7. Ruby. Dana and Greg Newkirk's Traveling Museum of the Paranormal and Occult have an extensive collection of supposedly haunted objects worth seeing. Among them is Ruby the Haunted Doll, a porcelain, paint, and fabric doll from the early 1900s that originated in southern Ontario. According to the museum's description, Ruby spent decades in attics and basements as she was passed along by people who wanted nothing to do with her. The Newkirks report that previous owners came to believe she is still the possession of a young girl who died while holding the doll. At number 6. Robert. Before Annabelle made her big screen debut in The Conjuring, Robert was the most famous doll out there. The doll looks almost more simian than human, with black beady eyes, tiny distressed cuts on his face, a peculiar grin, and wearing a little sailor outfit likely originally worn by his owner, Robert Eugenato of Key West, Florida. Robert the doll story goes back to 1904 when the real Robert, a boy who went by Jean, acquired it from his grandfather who'd recently returned from a trip to Germany. Manufactured by the Steve Company, which made the first teddy bear, the wood wool stuffed life-size doll was possibly intended as more of a display mannequin. At number 5. Pula Ubin. The story starts off in 1914 during World War I. Supposedly, the British arrested a German couple in Singapore they presumed were spies. The couple's daughter ran off and managed to get away only to plunge off a steep cliff in Pula Ubin and crash to her death. Natives constructed a reliquary in her memory, with a porcelain altar and a Barbie doll that reportedly contains her crucifix. The doll, it is said, holds the child's spirit and soul. The effigy some claim is haunted and over time it has become a local deity. The doll, benevolent in nature, helps out the community and guards them against ill fortune. Every year a festival is held and offerings are made to the doll. At number 4. Okiku. According to contemporary Japanese myth, in 1918, a teen named Ikichi Suzuki bought a large doll from Hokkaido Providence for his younger sister, Okiku. The two became inseparable and Okiku gave the doll her own name. At about 40 cms tall and draped in a classical kimono, the doll was lovely. Its hair was raven black and trimmed to roughly shoulder length, in a traditional Okapa hairstyle. Her eyes were penetrating coals that seemed to consume everything up in their gaze. The thing was mesmerizing and spellbinding, something to take your breath away. At number 3. Mandy. Mandy's origin is still a mystery. 
The doll was either made in England or Germany between 1910 and 1920. Mandy is an enamelware baby doll bequeathed to the Canal Museum in British Columbia in 1991. Mandy is also said to have otherworldly abilities. Mandy lies in a container with a toy lamb on her lap and eerily stares back at museum patrons. Visitors have described noticing the lamb outside of the case. Other guests insist that Mandy's eyes follow them as they walk around in the room. The doll earned a certain level of fame when it appeared beside the museum curator and donor of the doll on the Montel Williams show. At number 2. Lily. Historians have tracked Lily's background to the early 1600s, discovering tales of mystical practices, pagan rituals, and warding rites imported from Europe by the Dutch colonists of Lower Manhattan. Handmade figurines like Lily were left out to scare off local spirits and New World ghosts, an archaic custom dating back to the Vikings and the Romans. At number 1. Annabelle. When The Conjuring introduced Annabelle to mainstream audiences in 2013, it was in the visage of an antique porcelain doll with a pallor and ruby red, mischievous smile that was the focus of Ed and Lorraine Warren's most recent case file. The actual Annabelle is far more mundane, and looks like a raggedy Ann doll about the size of a four-year-old child, and attached to an inhuman entity. Before she made her big screen debut in James Wan's movie, Annabelle was introduced in Gerald Brittle's 1980 book The Demonologist, The Extraordinary Career of Ed and Lorraine Warren. These are our list of top 10. What do you think? Do you think we missed any of your favorites? Let us know your opinions in the comments section below. Please don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.